Breaking news. U.S. deploys drones despite Hezbollah's warn of escalation. As fighting heats up on Israel's northern border, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah has said that all possibilities are on the table, adding that the next step will depend on what happens in Gaza and how Israel treats Lebanon. The top stories on Bloomberg.com. Since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th, Iran-backed Hezbollah in Lebanon has been regularly exchanging fire with Israeli forces across the border. Nasrallah, in his first public statement on the war, delivered via video link, claimed that no one knew about the Palestinian group's plans in advance. Both Hezbollah and Hamas are classified as terrorist organizations by the U.S. After returning to the region, Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Tel Aviv as Israeli forces surrounded Gaza City and pounded the Hamas-controlled territory with heavy airstrikes. Israeli forces have claimed responsibility for an airstrike that occurred near Gaza's main hospital, which was reportedly used by Hamas militants. U.S. officials have said they are assisting with hostage rescue efforts by flying drones over Gaza. If the Palestinian group decides to release the estimated 200 hostages taken during the October 7 attack, a senior U.S. official said Friday night that the United States is discussing a framework agreement that would see a significant pause in hostilities between Israel and Hamas. While the official did warn that there was currently no timeline for a mass hostage release and significant impediments to negotiations, they did say that the temporary ceasefire when two American women were released by Hamas last month was a template for a longer one. During his talks with Netanyahu earlier on Friday, Blinken also brought up the possibility of pauses to allow additional humanitarian assistance to flow into Gaza, but the Israeli leader has rejected any brief cessation of hostilities unless hostages are freed. Israel claims it attacked a Hamas ambulance at around 8.30 p.m. According to the Israeli military, a number of Hamas militants were killed when Israeli planes bombed an ambulance they believed was being used by the group. A battle zone has been declared around the airstrike site, and residents have been urged to flee to southern Gaza, the report said. Earlier, health officials in Hamas-controlled Gaza reported that Israeli forces had struck two ambulances that were part of a convoy transporting injured people to the Egyptian border. Due to an increase in anti-Semitic incidents, the Israeli government has issued a warning to its citizens to be vigilant wherever they may be traveling abroad. These incidents are occurring in numerous countries worldwide, the National Security Council and Foreign Ministry said in a joint statement. The agency said that if Israelis must travel, they should avoid displaying overtly Jewish symbols, and assess the state of anti-Israel protests in whichever country they plan to visit. Next week, at 6.30 p.m., Macron will host an aid conference in Paris. On November 9, French President Emmanuel Macron plans to host a conference in Paris to discuss humanitarian aid for the people of Gaza. Macron said, We have to give a political outlet to the legitimate demands of the Palestinian people, after reiterating Israel's right to self-defense. It can't just be a precautionary measure. Near the main hospital in Gaza, a deadly strike occurred at 5.15 p.m. According to locals, dozens of people were killed and injured when a deadly strike occurred near the main hospital in the Gaza Strip. Thirteen people were killed and 26 were injured, according to the health ministry in the Hamas-controlled enclave, which blamed an Israeli airstrike. The claim could not be confirmed right away. Israel claims that Hamas military command and control is housed in the hospital. Since the conflict broke out, thousands of people have taken refuge in the hospital's courtyards, interior wards, and surrounding medical complex. The United States is currently using drones to assist in the rescue of hostages in Gaza at approximately 5 p.m. Since the attacks by Hamas on October 7, U.S. military spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder has said that unarmed drones have been flown over the Gaza Strip to aid in the recovery of hostages. Ryder said that the United States is providing advice and assistance to Israel in its efforts to free the hostages. First time the United States has admitted using drones in a conflict, 
This revelation is indicative of deepening American involvement. The French Foreign Ministry issued a statement demanding Israel give tangible justifications for attacking the French Institute in Gaza. No worker or French national was in the building when it was hit, the ministry said, without giving further details.